everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to clean the inside of your oven and other kitchen appliances So this, so this is gonna be all natural. It's just gonna be like baking soda and vinegar. Let me get exactly what you need. Hi. Uh, you're gonna get one cup, one cup of baking soda, two to four tablespoons of water, a small mixing bowl, a spray bottle, and white vinegar. Okay, all we have to do right now is get your baking soda all right you're gonna get one cup of baking soda just another Sunday in Southern California and then you're just going to pour a little water at a time it says one tablespoon at a time until you make a thick paste. And I'll put the recipe down, or the directions down, in the description too. consistency that I have right now. Actually, I had to add in a little bit more water than the direction said. But you want to be about like this, maybe a little bit thinner. Okay, so you're gonna take your racks out and clean these separately. Okay, you're going to want to make sure to wear gloves because it's going to get pretty black in there. Or your hands are going to get pretty dark. Black. The baking soda is cleaned up. And you want to try to keep it off of this too. This is pretty dirty because the people who lived here before us didn't clean it out before they moved out. But then I can't really say much because I've lived here six years and I haven't cleaned this. California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform. I'm 
to make some more. Right now you're gonna let this sit about 12 or at least 12 to 14 hours and then I'll show you in that 12 14 hours what to do next but now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my toaster oven and I'm gonna do the exact same thing okay for this one I'm just gonna take everything out again But I'm getting my, I got this at the Dollar Tree. And all I'm gonna do is just use it to kind of get some of those crumbs out. See, as you can see, this one's really not that dirty. It's just more crumbs than anything. Get my paste and put it in there. Overnight too. <laughs> Look how dirty that is. Okay, for the microwave, I just got one cup of water, another cup of vinegar, and I'm just gonna put it in the microwave. Ooh, let me get this out. It's like stuck on it. Just keep that in there it might work for it too <laughs> but um it's supposed to be on there mommy so it won't come off you're just going to put this in here and we're going to start with five minutes and then when the five minutes is over we'll take it out and everything should just wipe out clean Oh yeah, and we have this little second uh, microwave. We have another one up there, <laughs> but uh, we're... Alright, while that is warming up, let's just clean the outside of this.
Okay, now we're going to take it out. Be careful, Daddy. And then we're going to take this out. <laughs> okay. This peels out a lot better now. need to go in there for a little bit longer. Let's do it for a little bit longer because it's still, everything's still pretty on there. All right, let's try this again. Man, this must be real on there. <laughs> at all. I'm going to dip a little vinegar on here and that seems to be working a lot better. When I dipped uh, vinegar in, I mean this in the vinegar solution, that helped a lot. <laughs> right off when you uh, put a little vinegar on your paper towel. I'm gonna go and try a different round because this is like really really stuck on here so um don't pay attention to jojo's cleaner i have something else in here but <laughs> um i just have the i put the vinegar water solution in this and i'm just gonna spray it in here and let it sit for just a second and then i'm gonna go and, uh, it out, wipe it out. not perfect but it is a lot better so I'm just gonna spray some of this on here and let it sit for a minute Good. I'm gonna wipe it off this vinegar is still very warm let it sit for another minute or so.
all clean. Mom, you got to clean more than this and that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let the baking soda dry, or not dry, uh, sit for 12 to 14 hours, and I will see you tomorrow, but one second for you. <laughs> one day for me. One second for you. Okay, so I wanted to include how I'm going to be washing the oven racks. Sorry if you hear my dog crying. <laughs> but um, all I did was, all I'm doing is I put the oven racks on a towel in my kid's bathtub and then I'm going to run hot water just to cover it. Now I'm going to get one cup of baking soda and sprinkle it in. And half a cup of dish soap. Don't you want to say you're complicated? Now I'm just going to let it soak overnight. And tomorrow when we clean them, it should just wipe right off. Okay, time to clean out the oven. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Yeah, as last time. But, but I'm wearing the different size last time and different pants size last time. Yes. I had, uh, I was like, well, it's gonna get dirty. So I was, well, just keep it, keep the same shirt on. But today, all you're gonna need is foil and some vinegar. Yeah. Maybe we don't need big and so I'm the gas that we used last time. No, not this time. Nope, not this time, everybody. Okay. okay. So you're gonna get your foil and you're just gonna make a ball. A ball of foil? A ball of foil. This is how we're gonna take off on the glass. Then I just put the vinegar in the um, spray bottle, and I'm just going to spray. Last time she did it last time, too. Or yes. a couple last times. Yes. I'm just saying, almost. And this vinegar is going to. I'm spraying some of the vinegar on me. Oh, watch out. Because this is going to make it bubble up. And it's going to help take everything bubbles. off. Bubbles! I want to see bubbles! I want to see that bubble. You're gonna need your towels too. Obviously, this is going to take several different cleanings because that was really, really stuck on there really well. <laughs> Since it's, Good job, Daddy Star. So it's, since it's been on there for probably, well, this is 19, it was, this house was built in 1989, so who knows how long it's been the last time it was clean. It's 2021 now. <laughs> Mommy, I think, I think that one was the first time and the people left it for us. Mm -hmm. for now on the door like I said before it's gonna probably take several cleanings to get that completely clean but it's a lot better than it was before all right let's get into this disaster Why are you not using 
gloves. Yeah. That's a good point. Why didn't I put gloves on? Let me go get those gloves. <laughs> the door is open. I could walk right in. Should have done the door last. hard work to watch me do this. <laughs> okay, James. paper towels in it first to kind of wipe it up or soak it up. I feel like that would be the smartest thing to do. Look at 
all that nastiness. got the most I can inside clean for now I think I had to go back to the door since I got it uh, dirty again from cleaning let me push you down here uh, I didn't get inside completely clean it's gonna take several times to clean it because it's just after multiple years of neglect <laughs> um, it's going to take multiple times to clean it, but I think it looks a lot better. What do y'all think? Actually, I want to try one thing real quick. I want to try these on the really stubborn spots. These definitely worked. Um, my arm is tired, so I'm not going to finish it. I might do a little on this, but I'm not going to do the sides of back here because my arm is tired, and that will make for a good another video. <gasps> That's the oven for now. Well, 
what? You get your dinner now, you're hungry? Okay. Okay, now on to my toaster oven. My husband saw this and he was like, ew, what, what is that? And I said, I'm cleaning it, it's soaking. So, now on to this. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier to clean up, I think. So, I just got my vinegar and I'm gonna start spraying and start cleaning. Sorry, it's so dark. Can you see in there? I thought this was gonna be easier than the oven to clean. It's not turning out to be. <laughs> really sticking on there. I don't know if I'm taking off part of the <laughs> Part of it that was not supposed to come off or not, but I'm going to use another one of these over here. Okay, so I did use the Brillo pad on this too, but it just didn't get everything off. I'll have to use some more elbow grease on it later. Okay, so these have been sitting here for a while and I'm hoping that they didn't rust. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm cleaning now the uh, racks.
Okay, I think I got most of it off. I think it's all in my pants now. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. All right, I just have to do the little toaster oven one now. some before and after photos too but I believe that one looks a lot better a lot better. cleaning all the appliances if you like this video please give it a thumbs up go and find them yes what James said all right I hope this was some cleaning motivation for you and maybe you did not didn't know how to clean the oven I don't know I <laughs> All right, see y'all next time. Thanks. See you next time.